Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think between the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix pretty soon. That man over there says women need to be helped into carriages, lifted over ditches, and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody helps me into carriages or carries me over mud puddles or gives me any best place, and ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed, I have planted, I have gathered into bonds, and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much, eat as much, when I could find it, and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and seen most of them sold into slavery. And when I cried out with a mother's grief and none but Jesus could hear me, ain't I a woman? They talk about this thing in the head. What's that they call it? Intellect. That's it, honey. What's intellect got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quarter, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? That little man in black back there, he says women can't have the same rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where does your Christ come from? <laughs> Where does your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. <laughs> so if the first woman God ever made could turn the world upside down all alone, then these women together ought to be able to turn it right back side up again. And now that they asking to do it, men ought to let them. Thank you. <laughs>